Hey guys and welcome back to the Quotas Legacy channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can use and customize pie charts inside Matplotlib. Okay, so we all know what pie charts are and how they're used and where they're used. So I won't waste time talking about that. Let's just jump straight into the code. Okay, so first let's begin defining some data over here. Okay, let me go with programming languages as an example, as sample data. So Ruby, Python, Java, C++, and JavaScript. Okay five languages that's enough i think then we need to define the weights okay there are 360 degrees in a circle in the pie chart basically so the weights determine how much what portion does each one of these labels get okay let's just call these labels all right so for example this is all based off proportionality so for example if everyone has a weight of one then the way the portion is calculated is that there's 360 degrees, right? So it's going to divide by five, which is the sum of the weights. So each label is going to get what? I think that's 45, 45 degrees. Wait, sorry. No, it's uh, 320 divided by five. That should be like 75, I think. Okay, actually it's not 75, it's like 72, I think. All right, yeah, 72. So each label, each weight is going to get 72, okay? So it's just based off proportionality, okay? I just want to make that clear. So let's just go with something random. 10, 20, and 5, okay? And 30, and 20, 25, okay? Now this is all proportional, okay? So that means Ruby is half of Python and Python is four times Java. Okay, so that's just something I wanted to make clear. All right, so next up we need to create our figure. So figure and axis will be created through plt.subplots. Okay, and then we do axis is equal to figure dot, oh, wait, hold on. Do we need to do this? I don't think so. I did this before, but I don't think we need to do that. Ne never mind. Okay, so I'll just do axis.py. Then I'll pass our weights into it, and I'll pass the labels. Sorry, weights. Then I'll pass in the, the labels, which is languages. Okay. And let's do plt.show. And let's see what output we get. Okay. Uh, okay, hold on. I, let me just run that again. If you resize this thing, it messes with the aspect ratio, so it doesn't appear as a proper circle then. Okay, so yeah, pretty cool. And matplotlib automatically picks a different color for each portion, so you don't need to do that. And we can clearly see that it all matches up, the weights match up. C++ is like three times Ruby, uh, and Python is like four times Java, and yeah, that matches up. Okay, great. So let's talk about how we can customize this. This is a basic pie chart, okay? But obviously, this is really basic. We can make we can make this look much better. So let's focus on how we can do that, okay? So one very easy and one very handy thing that we can do is set this parameter. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, honestly. Uh, so I'm, I'll just call it auto PST, PCT, sorry. So what I'll do here is pass in uh, 1.2 F. Okay. And, and I think there's an, another percentage over there. All right. All right. So the deal with this is actually, let me just run this just to make sure I'm Okay. Yeah. Cool. I remember this, I remember this correctly. So basically the deal with auto PCT is that it kind of sets the label. First of all, it sets these little labels onto the graph. Okay. And the way it's set up 1.2f, what that means is that the dot 2f means two floating point places. Okay, if I change this to one, then only one decimal place will show up. Okay, if I change this to three, then we get three decimal places. But that's a bit off. I just like to stick to two. Okay, it's a good balance. All right, cool. And this makes it even more obvious how the percentages work. Okay, it's really handy. All right. 
So yeah, let's take a look at some more customization options. So one cool thing that we can do is the shadow. Okay. This shadow basically kind of gives it a kind of 3D-ish look. Okay. So if I run our code now, you can see that it has this kind of shadow-ish thingy at the bottom over here. All right. So this is just a very small modification, but it makes it look a bit 3D-ish. Okay. And then there's the explode parameter. And I like this one personally. Now this thing takes an array. Okay. So we can just define the array here and we have five values, right? So this takes five values. Okay. And the default value looks something like this. Okay. Zero, zero, zero. And that means zero explode for Ruby, zero explode for Python, zero explode for Java, zero explode for C++, and zero explode for JavaScript. Now, what does this explode mean? Well, for example, for Python, let's say the explode is 0 0.2. Let's just see what this does, okay? Seeing is believing. All right, there, cool. And you can also see the shadow effect over there. It makes it, makes it look 3D, okay? So it doesn't look that awesome when it's just one combined graph, but when it starts splitting up into pieces, that's where shadow's true uh, benefit really shows, shows through, you know? So yeah, that's what explode is. And the higher you, you put the value of explode, the further away it's gonna be separated from the pie chart. Okay, so don't go too far with this, just go like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 or 0 0.3, okay? Actually, no, 0 0.1 is too small. Go with 0 0.2. And you can do this with multiple uh, portions and just change their values over here. Okay. And yeah, that looks a bit odd now, but uh, yeah, let's see how far we can go with this. Just change that to 0 0.2, change that to 0 0.1. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous, but you, you get the point, right? All right, so what else can we do? There's one more parameter I want to discuss, and that's start angle. Start angle can change, it kind of rotates the graph, okay? So if I do 90 over here, you'll notice that, uh, let me just turn explode off. It's kind of ruining the look. It makes it a bit difficult to tell. All right, so basically we just turned 90 degrees, I think, counterclockwise. Let me just turn this to zero first and let's see. Okay, so Python is over there currently. So if I change this to 90, Python moves to the right, to the left, sorry, counterclockwise. If I do minus 90 on this, then Python moves clockwise. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's just one something I wanted to show you. There's also one more parameter you can take a look at, and that's access dot access equal. I saw this on the matplotlib documentation, and you can use this basically. Uh, what this does is basically ensures that your axis, both the x and the y axis, are equal. So this will ensure that the aspect ratio doesn't, you know, get thrown off, so that your pie chart is always a circle. Okay. Now, in our case, I think it's by default, it's already, uh, it's already, you know, the aspect ratio is already fine. So we won't notice any difference, but some of you may find this useful. Okay. So that's all I wanted to really say. We've covered quite a bit of customizations in this tutorial. I hope you guys found this video informative. If you want to see more Matplotlib content, which you will, if you follow the series, we have a lot more content coming up. We've just gotten started. Okay, we've, we're, we've made like five videos so far, I think, but this is still barely anything. It's just a fraction of everything there is in matplotlib, okay? So yeah, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in a later video. Bye then.